talk about why it's important to be congruent with your values when it comes to business, when it comes to your branding. I recently learned a very, very valuable lesson when it comes to this. And the lesson was that I was doing something that someone told me to do, which worked for others and worked for many, many people out there. However, it just wasn't along the lines of my brand. And I tried and I tried to make it work for me because I know the results that other people were getting with those techniques. And no, mo no matter what I did, it just simply did not work. Nothing worked. Nothing. I was having trouble sleeping. I was stressing. My partner was stressing. Why are you stressing? Just everything. It was just not working for me and eventually I cut what I was doing, just quit it and went, went back to what I was doing previously. And when I started doing what I was doing previously, which is aligned with my branding, which is aligned with my values, within 30 minutes, I got results. And that just goes to show, you know, I spent $500 trying to make those other methods work. And I think essentially it's a great lesson for me to learn and I'm glad that I have the opportunity to pass it on to you now because hopefully you won't have to spend that 500 bucks now. I'm really grateful to be able to learn that lesson and I think it was worth the $500 because it just engraved in my head just how important it is to be congruent with your values and with your own branding. So how do you know if you're being congruent with your values when it comes to your business and your branding? For me personally, I get this satisfaction from writing up content that appeals to my values, to my value system. I get a little bit warm and fuzzy on the inside when I know that I'm putting out something that really, that is just me and my brand. I. I, I love what I'm putting out. I think that love should be your benchmark. If you're not loving what you're putting out, then you probably should stop doing it and start creating stuff that you love. Start creating marketing collateral that you love. Love should be your benchmark. Often, when you love what you're putting out, others will too. And especially if you're a coach or a speaker or a consultant because your brand is pretty much about you and the information that's in your head and the twist on that information that you put on it. So it's really important that you love what you're putting out so that the people can get to know you a little bit better and what you're about and then you'll attract the right people to your brand. So what do you need to do in order to be congruent with your branding? One, know what your values are. What do you value? What is the top value for you? For me, it's love and that's why my brand is called Lovable. Know what you stand for and what you don't stand for. What is your vision? Where do you want to take your business? Know your target market, who you're passionate about serving. Once you know all of those things, I can guarantee that you'll produce content marketing collateral that you will love and that will be congruent with your values. Don't forget, anything that you produce around your business, around your brand is rep representation of yourself and your brand. And so you need to decide how you want people to think of you and your brand. I hope today's video has helped you out. Please leave a comment in the comment section below if uh, you have anything to add or if you have a story to share or anything at all. I would love to hear from you. And make sure that you subscribe to my newsletter as well. Be lovable, awaken your genius, and make sure that you're living your higher purpose. I'll see you next week. Bye! Bye, 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 bye.